Children are constantly running around and jumping off high things, wanting to be superheroes and fly. But sometimes gravity's got other ideas and they fall over and break an arm instead. In this video, I'm going to show you how to examine the nerves of the arm using rock, paper, scissors, okay? Hi everyone, my name's Scott and I create videos about emergency medicine so that we can have more fun learning and deliver better patient care. We see lots of children coming to the emergency department who have injured their arm. They might not have broken it, they might have just hurt it, but we need to make sure that the nerves and the blood vessels going to the arm are still working and still doing everything they're meant to be doing. The problem is children are often scared when they're coming to the emergency department because we're strangers and we're not parents and they don't know us. So one of the best ways I've found is to be able to assess the arm using rock, paper and scissors. It's a kid's game that's been going on for years, so the kids already know how to use it and how to play. They're now starting to have fun, and in under a minute I know whether or not their hand is working properly. They could have still injured it, they could have still broken it, they can still be sore, but at least then I know that the muscles controlled by these nerves are all working well right at the front door when I'm in triage. And we'll start by having a look at the anatomy so that we can see where the nerves are on the arm and then we can have a better understanding of how they get damaged when the arm's broken. The arm starts off up here. So these are the three bones that make up the arm. The humerus, radius and the ulna. The median nerve runs all the way down the front. It's going to cross over the elbow joint and it's going to continue down the middle of the arm and that's also then going to become something called the anterior interosseous nerve as well. In the middle here, just next to the median nerve, you've also got the brachial artery just sitting there. The ulnar nerve goes all the way around the back of the humerus. And this is the nerve that you hit when you hit your funny bone. So around the back is where it's going to wrap. And it's going to continue around the back of the arm all the way down into the forearm. The radius just wants to make things difficult for us. It starts off in the back, two thirds down the arm. It comes out at the front, wraps round and continues down the rest of the journey on the front of the arm as well. Anywhere that this can get damaged, anywhere along the course of the nerve, can then lead to the problems in the hand. Now, one of the commonest things that we see in children is something called a supracondylar fracture. This is the end of the humerus. These are your condyles. So supracondylar fractures fracture here. And then if this bit of bone moves either forwards or backwards, it has risk of damage in both the radial, the median, the ulna, and even the artery as well. So supracondylar fractures are very much one where I want to know what's happening down towards the bottom end of the hand. Equally, if I fracture down here, or I only fracture my radius, I can still have individual points of damage to these nerves, which is why you can manage to injure only one of them, but not all of the nerves completely. So now let's have a look at rock, paper, scissors. We've got rock, clenched fist, all the fingers are closed in and this is now checking whether the median nerve is working fine. We've then got paper and paper is all of the fingers out flat with the fingers together and this is making sure that our radial nerve is working. We've then got scissors, two fingers out straight, rest of the fingers bent down, that's the one that's going to check our ulnar nerve. And then the anterior interosseous nerve is the thumb and forefinger together making an okay sign. Obviously making them go rock, paper, scissors, shoot isn't going to be what we're going to do. So what I'll say to the kids is I want you to beat me and we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. As soon as you've started here, the kids are already playing. You can play with the parents as well so that we all start to play together. So I'm going to show them a sign and then I want them to show me what's going to beat it. So if I show them rock, they're going to show me paper. If I show them scissors, they're going to show me rock. And if I show them paper, they're going to show me scissors. Now at that point, I've already done all three and the kid's not even got a clue that we've started to even examine and find out because I've not touched the arm. And if I've not touched the arm, they're already in a happier place. My last part is just to get them to show me an okay. So this is one where I have to ask, can you show me okay? And normally the kids can copy what you're doing with your hand. Even if they can't do the fingers, providing that they've got these two fingers together, you've got a pretty good idea that the nerves are all working fine. And if you've enjoyed this video and want to know more, just follow the link up here for the next video. See you soon.